Hello and welcome. This is Ninja Penguin from Penguin Gaming. Today I'm bringing you a uh, jungle domination map analysis. So let's get into it. If you're starting off over at uh, C and going left to the west side, I'd recommend you go down but watch that house because many camp up there and can shoot down at you. There's a great claimer spot at that house if you're up there. And I'll just there with that exit and I'll show you now. Now, if you're up at the cliff and you're down at that uh, trench where the house is, I'd recommend showing a grenade up there as you can definitely get a double or triple kill as shown here. You have to aim pretty high for that. Now, over the east side, people coming from A up to this path down C, there's a great pre nade spot there and claimer spot. You have to be very careful of that because grenades and flashbangs are shown there and claimers, especially at the bend. Now this is the claimer spot where that circle is. People just sprint around that cover unknown to any claimers and there's a bush there. Boom, you get your 100 points. Now, sniper perch aiming up at the cliff over by the ruins at A. Great to eliminate people at the cliff if you don't want to get shot because it's very high them to see you. And there's your two kills up at that sniper perch. Now over at C, if you throw a grenade over the bridge, and uh, you're guaranteed to get a kill most of the time, just over the bridge, there's usually a shitload of people there. And there you go. Now here's just some gameplay, but it's going to be cut out a bit because tier to mode wouldn't work. Um, and I'm just going to continue to talk about a bit about jungle. You do not want to go into the lower central river as it's a danger zone on the map. Stay out of it and stay alive. The ruins area has good cover and multiple paths to it. It acts as a meeting point between the river and the southern village. The village is north to the ruins and east out to the rice paddy fields. There isn't a lot of great cover here, so be careful about trying to set up camp. The sniper perch has decent, vis decent visibility, but it also has an extremely obvious camping spot. Pot up a few kills, but don't stay too long, or you can expect unfriendly, unfriendly explosions at your feet, like I said, with the grenade. This small bunker has good connectivity to other areas of level, but it isn't a great place to hang out. Move quickly, quickly and pick your destination and keep moving. Now, jungle is a small, intense, medium range map with good connectivity and many block sight lines that prevent easy crosses. Map sniping. Assault rifles work very well here, but you can dip up or down a range band, use SMGs or LMGs especially. Both extreme weapons, snipers and shotguns, are harder to use. Though they, they can be effective if you pay careful attention to where you engage the enemy. Jungle is divided into a few areas by ruins, boulders and overgrown foliage. A blasted out village sits beside an ancient set of ruins to the southwest. A makeshift sandbag bunker sits atop a hill in the northeast. Two small bridges pass over a shallow creek bed that winds through the center of the map. Finally, a dangerously open bombard out area sits behind the rice paddies to the southeast. Oh, and don't walk into the fields or a landmine could blow you to bits. Because the map is chopped into many discrete sections, pay attention to the connections between the different areas. Always have a teammate or some equipment watching your back as it is difficult to cover all the approaches alone. The central area connects to the path of the map, but it's also most exposed. Try to minimize your time spent here and moving around the maps other edge lets you concentrate on what's ahead of you rather than what's to your sides and rear. Spend some time getting familiar with each chunk of the map. Each one has distinct sight lines and approaches you need to learn. Mobility is important on this level because a whole team can push out to several different directions from the map's east or west sides. Be prepared to shift your position constantly to respond. That's very important. You want to be always changing your routes, making sure you're varying it up and never ever go into that river it's basically asking to be killed if you go into that river it's you're gonna just run like a headless chicken people from the cliff the up of the bridges everywhere are just gonna shoot you down I'd recommend a M60 with a grip uh,